Hello and welcome back everyone, today we will look back at the 1987 American movie Three Men and a Baby. We will revisit the cast of the movie and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivia facts about the show which you probably did not know, so let's jump right into it. Nancy Travis is a versatile American actress known for her work in film and television. She gained popularity in the 1990s for her role in the TV series Almost Perfect. Travis has since appeared in various film and TV projects and has been praised for her nuanced performances. She has also been involved in philanthropic efforts, including breast cancer research and HIV AIDS awareness. Nancy Travis is a respected actress whose work continues to inspire audiences worldwide. Tom Selleck and Steve Gutenberg, the former Bachelors, took Ted Danson on a tour of Toronto's nightlife during the two-week rehearsal period before filming began for their film. This was done to revive the feeling of bachelorhood they had to portray in the movie. Whenever they went out to party, the trio caused a lot of excitement among the public. Ted Danson is an American actor best known for his iconic roles in Cheers, CSI, and The Good Place. He won two Emmys and a Golden Globe for his portrayal of Sam Malone in Cheers. Danson has also been active in environmental activism, serving as a board member for Oceana. He is a respected voice in conservation efforts. In 1987, the movie that made the most money in the United States was the highest-grossing film of the year. Tom Selleck, the beloved American actor, is known for his iconic roles in film and television. He gained recognition as Thomas Magnum in Magnum, P.I. and has starred in various films. Selleck also serves on the board of directors for the National Rifle Association. Despite his accomplishments, he remains humble and gracious. He continues to act, starring as NYPD Commissioner Frank Reagan in Blue Bloods. Tom Selleck has left an indelible mark on American entertainment as a talented actor and generous philanthropist. During a scene in the movie, Jack's mother visits Mary, a small boy appears in the background, rumored to be a ghost. However, this is false as the film's interiors were shot on a soundstage. The ghost is a cardboard cutout of Jack in a tuxedo, used later in the movie. Earl Hindman was an American actor best known for his role as Wilson W. Wilson Jr. on Home Improvement. He appeared in numerous TV shows and movies, including The Love Boat and Law and & Order. Despite being a talented actor, he remained relatively unknown outside of his most famous role. He passed away in 2003 at the age of 61 from lung cancer. Hindman's legacy lives on through his memorable performances. To feature their diaper brand in a movie, Pampers paid $50,000. This is a common marketing tactic known as product placement. By placing their product in a popular movie, companies hope to gain brand recognition and increase sales. This is an effective way to reach a large audience without directly advertising. Celeste Holm was an American actress known for her versatile performances in film, theater, and television. She won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Gentleman's Agreement and was remembered for her philanthropic work in supporting arts education. Home passed away in 2012 at the age of 95, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. During the filming of the movie, the director Leonard Nimoy faced conflicts with the lead actors. Steve Gutenberg revealed that Tom Selleck and Ted Danson, who were used to being in charge on their TV shows, had to acknowledge that Nimoy was the real boss on set. While Gutenberg praised Nimoy's direction skills and understanding of actors' problems, he felt that Nimoy sometimes overlooked those issues himself. Steve Gutenberg is an American actor, producer, and director known for his roles in Police Academy, Cocoon, and Three Men and a Baby. He began his career on stage and transitioned to film and television. Gutenberg has also written and directed films, authored children's books, and supports philanthropic causes. With a career spanning over three decades, he has entertained audiences worldwide. 
In search of the perfect Mary, director Leonard Nimoy sifted through around 200 sets of twin girls on videotape. Eventually, Lisa and Michelle Blair were chosen for the role after being one of four sets seen in person. Margaret Collin is a Brooklyn-born American actress known for her performances on both stage and screen. Her notable works include films like Three Men and a Baby and Independence Day, and TV shows like Gossip Girl and Chicago PD. Collin's charitable work and activism are also noteworthy. She is a celebrated figure in the entertainment industry. During an interview on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on February 6, 2017, Tom Selleck disclosed that the baby in the movie poster he was holding actually urinated on him. This hilarious incident is a behind-the-scenes tidbit that fans of the film may not have known about. <laughs>